We have done an incredible job. We're going to continue. It's going to disappear. One day, it's like a miracle. It will disappear. 35,000 people on average die each year from the flu. Did anyone know that? 35,000. That's a lot of people. I wish it hadn't happened. So far, we have lost nobody to coronavirus in the United States. I wish I weren't alone. Nobody. I wish it wasn't real. I wish that I was with you. In the first week, I saw the world change. Winter became spring, and spider webs hung pregnant with dew. A droplet fell and became a ripple, and a ripple grew into a wave. As you know, this is an evolving and uh, complex situation. I saw my wife go to work at the hospital. I saw my mother, we were planning a trip. I saw my schedule dance into the summer, and the Lakers beat the Clippers. I wasn't got a curveball with this coronavirus. Typically, coronavirus should, should be something that's still limited. I don't know whether this virus is spread readily from person to person. I saw miracles on the far side of the world. I saw a hospital be built in a week. I saw a billion people living in stillness. I saw five-digit numbers that I didn't believe. Number confirmed cases worldwide, 10,000. Overnight, the death toll rising uh, from the virus passed now 200. And the wave undetected spread over countries. A flood rushed in secret through the neighborhood streets. Up the block, I heard a family was drowning. But I ignored them because I had places to be. If I get corona, I get corona. At the end of the day, I'm not going to let it stop me from partying. The president tweeted today, it will all work out well. A doctor ran on the court, and the sport simply vanished. It's stupid, but Tom Hanks made it true. That night, I slept in a river of nightmares, fed by a distant droplet of dew. impeach the president. The more I learn about this, the less there is to worry about. I was about to say the same thing. In the morning, the tattered web hung in silence. I could not see my mother or father or friends. I saw a metropolis left to lie fallow. I saw a nation struggling to swim. I felt it was a pandemic long before it was called a pandemic. I saw orders from leaders who didn't have answers. I saw markets crash on assumptions of sand. I saw my job become non-essential. And the wide world shrunk down to a screen in my hand. I want America to understand, this week it's going to get bad. And my wife went to work without proper equipment. And I saw fear in her eyes as she crawled into bed. I saw empty lots that might one day be graveyards. And I saw wars being fought in the aisles of Costco. And I saw stories and rants and memes and workouts. And I saw graphs become news, become screams on the wall. And I could only look through a digital window where lies became facts and facts became laws. And the invisible wave grown from a droplet that quivered upon a corporeal thread was cresting over life as we knew it. Winter immortal became spring of the dead. What do you say to Americans who are watching you right now who are scared? Uh, I say that you're a terrible reporter, that's what I say. And I think it's a very bad signal that you're putting out to the American people. The American people are looking for answers and they're looking for hope. In the first week, I saw the world change. I wish it hadn't happened. I'm glad you're here with me. a really stressful time for a lot of us. But no matter how much I like. So I'm gonna get after these uh these bodyweight workouts, these daily bodyweight workouts. Hopefully hopefully you can hear me there dude. I cried when you decided it is day two of my self-care quarantine flow. I guess that's what I'm gonna be calling I it. I cried much more than you ever know. Yeah this uh, quarantine is really interesting. My pride is my only um, I don't know about you, but almost everyone that I know doesn't have a job anymore. My pride will get the best of me. 
everybody, it's day five. Welcome back to some quarantine self-care. My name is Lexi. I'll dance with the ghost of our love. I will dance with the ghost of our long lost love. Oh, wow. 